I'm Levi, a creative, adventure seeker, and explorer by heart. A few years ago, I set out on a mission, a mission to find the most unusual, inspired, and unique one night stays in America. And I'm taking you with me. This is Tiny b, &B. Let's go. I'm especially excited to show you this tiny house where we're at today in Marysville, Tennessee. It comes in at 254 square feet, but I'm really excited because I feel like I've been a part of their process for a while now, part of the journey, because last year they messaged me that they were building it and now it is finished and I'm finally here to check it out. It is brand new to Airbnb, the Little River Tiny House. So let's go check it out. Welcome to Tennessee and the Little River Tiny House. You pull up to it, you can walk down this beautiful rock path that leads right to the back of your tiny house cabin. Uh, whenever you're walking down, you'll notice the first thing on the left over here is your fire pit area. The views from this fire pit area are killer though. You can see the river that this tiny house is located on and beyond. So there's lots of trees, lots of gorgeous scenery to sit up here and enjoy with your friends. You can roast some s'mores. It looks really good. So now let's walk. You continue down the path to the back of your tiny house. Whenever we reach the front of the deck, you can see how large this is right here. There's seating options right here behind me. There's lights all around and just literally everything is wood, feels naturey. Feels like you're in a cozy bubble with this tiny house cabin. One unique thing is that they have curtains up here as well. So I guess you can probably block the sun if it is ever too blinding, sometimes that happens. Or if you want just a little bit more privacy, you can block them probably block out some of the bugs as well but if you have them open the view behind me is a perfect view for any cabin and then you walk into your tiny house right here so you walk into your tiny house and you'll notice how grand it is for a tiny house with the huge ceilings this place feels massive right behind me you can see how gorgeous it is the attention to detail with everything in here the wood aspect along with the white the gorgeous wood floors this place definitely screams cozy especially with the fire pit right behind you it's an electric fire pit and you got a tv right above it the mantle is a piece of wood you'll notice that around the entire house all the shelves and everything is all wood and it looks awesome if you like the cozy vibe of a tiny house and then over on the right of that you have a couch it also converts into a bed if you do want to sleep four people in this tiny house and then we make it to our kitchen area this is a pretty large kitchen for a tiny house you have it's an l-shaped type of bar the countertop is wood of course it matches with everything else the cabinets are really unique though if you look down here they're kind of like the rounded corners i would say and it looks kind of vintage -y. You have a mini fridge right here. You have your coffee bar right above that. And then you got some floating shelves with dishes and coffee. They provide coffee for you, which is awesome. So you got everything you need right here. The best thing about this kitchen though that I think is pretty neat is how they have this cabinet that's kind of in the wall over here. So it's sunken back, it saves space, of course, and this is where they keep their microwave and other dishes, but it looks really neat being kind of sunken back in the wall like that. I like that a lot. And then as we continue along, you got the steps that lead to the loft. We'll get to that in a bit. But if you follow me, right under here, you got some storage area for your bags, luggage. I see they have some bedding for the couch right under here. But this also connects into the closet behind me. But this is also your bathroom. So when you slide open this barn door, and you welcome to the bathroom. I really love this bathroom. It is spacious. You have your sink with the black fixtures that I love. Over here on the left, you have your toilet in the middle, a couple floating shelves above it with some bathroom amenities, and then you have your huge walk-in shower. And the really cool aspect of this is they used wood tiling for the bathroom surround. It is tiled, but it looks like wood. And I've seen this before, but I've never seen it in person, and I think it looks really cool. And the black fixtures fit along with the shower as well. Now on the other side of this bathroom is your closet area. You can hang up your clothes, which is really convenient because you'll be getting changed 
in the bathroom, of course. So having all your clothes here is really nice. So this is your bathroom. It is really neat and it's under the loft, which is where we'll be heading to next, right along these steps. So let's walk up the steps. You can see the design of the steps are all zigzag, so they look really cool aesthetically and they actually fit in with each step. So it's not like you're crossing your legs or anything. So if you think you're gonna trip and fall, I didn't have any issues with it. One of the really cool aspects of this home, now let's check out the loft. Up in the loft, you have your sleeping area. This is your bed. You can overlook the ledge into the living room and kitchen area, and you have great views from up here. Since this is such a tall ceiling design, tiny house, which I like a lot, the ceiling actually looks really beautiful. The architecture and the design are really eye-catching, but only thing you can really fit up here is a bed, but this is the most unique part of this tiny house that I've never seen before. If we come over here, the coolest thing is that this window isn't just a window. You can open it up and it becomes a door and you can walk out into your rooftop deck, which is incredible to have in a tiny home or really any home. So you just open it up like this and you can just take a step out. This is such a cute rooftop deck. Here's the window you walk out of. And then right over here on the other side is you have this bar area. There's four chairs for you and your friends. You can sit up here, chill, have some coffee, eat some dinner, and you can have the amazing views of the river, the trees, and the bridge over there as well. And it's awesome, I love it. Over here on this side, they have some vines hanging down from your wall over here that kind of keeps you private and everything. And this is just a really intimate decking area your rooftop deck. So now let's go check out our next tiny house Airbnb. tiny house I have ever stayed in, the Nook. Whenever you arrive to the Nook, this beautiful Airbnb surrounded by trees and nature, it just blends right in to the scenery. If you're not really looking for it, you might miss it. So you walk down this path to your tiny house at night, it is lit by these string lights that go right up to the cabin and you walk down and you can see your round window over here on the back and there's a small porch tin area over here on the right this is where you walk into and a lot of the wood has been repurposed from old barn wood or actually found on properties that are dead trees and they've been cut and used for this tiny house which is really awesome this post right here was found on the owner's property and you can see right here it was struck by lightning which made the tree of course fall and he's been using it right here for support and it's just awesome to hear that small snippet story of this tiny house so with that being said let's just walk inside and check it out First walk in on the left side is a small foyer area. There's a small bench right here. You can sit down and get your shoes all undone and they provide some slippers under here for you. And up above they provide some books and there's just a couple baskets, but we'll continue walking and now you reach your kitchen area and dining space area. This is the iconic place that I've seen all over Instagram. I think this place is very, very popular. And this is your dining nook, which is surrounded by this beautiful black walnut wood. You got the huge round window right here in the middle and there's two seats on either side and then of course your table in the middle. There's a couple shelves that are sunk in the wood over here. Just overall, this looks absolutely phenomenal and beautiful. Definitely picturesque and even romantic and unique for a couple's getaway or whatever. I loved this spot so much. And on the other side is your kitchen area, which is also black walnut wood for the cabinets, I believe. I think the cabinets are very high quality. You open them up and they have your cooking utensils and anything like that. Over here on the right side is this pretty unique fridge. The top drawer is your fridge, the bottom drawer is your freezer, and above all of this is your black countertop. On this right side you have a cooktop stove 
and then you have your sink over here on the left side. And then you have this crate over here, and I forget what it's really called, but it holds everything you need for your tea, and there's a really long handle, and there's a reason for that. If you look up, there's an opening to that loft area, and that is for whenever you're up there in the loft, it's easy to grab the tea basket and raise it up, and you have your tea up in the loft. I think that is such a unique idea, and it is awesome, I think. We'll continue along, and behind this door is your full bathroom. Over on this left side, you got your vanity and a couple shelves, your toilet, and on the other side is your huge shower with the beautiful tiling from around the shower and even on the ground. There's a couple windows in here, but you can't really see any of your neighbors or anything through these windows, which is really nice. We'll walk out of that and we'll walk past your kitchen and your dining nook and we'll swing around and now we enter into your massive living room space. There's a lot going on in this living room, which is super cool. Everything in here I think is unique and I've never seen any of this before and it is so well crafted and thought out. We'll start over here actually on this left side you have this huge ladder that leads up to your loft and this is just a nice little seating area for tea or if you want to drink coffee or read up here or whatever you want. There is a huge 300 pound slab of oak I believe and a couple cushions for seating. We'll climb back down the ladder and now this is your living room space with the huge window right here that overlooks the rest of your property. And there's actually a swing right in front of the window that goes right up to the ceiling and you can swing around in here. It's just an extra seat. And this is very unique to have a swing in a tiny house. It just adds to the vibe and just the uniqueness of this place. Then you have a couch on the other side with a pull out coffee table. This wooden slab is actually on wheels and you can slide it in and out from under this couch to save space. I love this idea. And even in this coffee table, there's a built in spot for your coasters. Now onto the other side of this tiny house on the bottom level is your main sleeping area. It's, you're right in this little nook with this back wall that has been painted, these beautiful blue mountains and I, felt very cozy sleeping back here and is really comfortable. And now to get to your other loft space, you walk up this ladder at the end of your bed and you go through this hole and then now you're in your loft space up above your bed. This is the coziest loft I've ever been in. You can see there's a small TV and really a seating area kind of in this nook. I don't think it's enough space to sleep in, but that means it's a perfectly enough space to come up here and lounge and be in this little nook and watch TV, watch movies up here. It is totally cozy up here. I would 100% suggest this tiny house if you're wanting to come to just get away, enjoy a couple nights to yourself or with a significant other or get inspiration for your tiny house yourself.